All right, let's take a look at a few other uh, tips and tricks that we can do here in Indu. Uh, this time I want to create kind of a, well, first of all, I'm going to create a soft indent up here. So we're going to create a new multi-normal because that gives us access to all of our tools. And a hard brush set around 50 will work just fine. Paint that across using the shift key. And let's slant that down. And now that doesn't pop very much. And it's going to be hard to tell on here. But I'm going to bring the softness up a little bit. And that'll soften those edges. And then in our game engine, that'll pick up more light. And it will show up better. So all right, we're pretty happy with that. Now I also want to do some brackets. I want it to look like there's some brackets holding this panel on. So brackets are very thin, so I'm going to want to use a chiseled, which I'm not going to be able to do with a multi-normal. So I'm going to create a single normal. I'm going to grab my marquee tool. Grab a spot on here. Something like that. And we're just going to convert that. And the first thing I want to do is take the size of this way down. I don't want that to go down even more yet. I'm just going to switch that over to chiseled. Open up 3D, see what we're getting. All right, so we can see we're getting a nice thin piece there, but it doesn't really look like a bracket on it. It looks like it's just sitting on top. So once again, let's go and take our layer to overlay which now gets that looking a little bit better. Oops. Grab the mesh instead. So now that looks, that looks better. We could get away with that. Um, there's some things we could do to make that sell a little bit better. But, but I'm not entirely happy with it, so I'm going to get rid of that. We're going to try this again. This time when we do it, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab my polygonal lasso tool. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so I see what I'm doing. And right where that goes over that edge, I'm going to cut in and take that out. I'm going to do the same thing here. All right, now let's see what we get. There now on our edges, our colors are matching up a little bit better. And just the general change in shape helps sell that this is a bracket sitting over that. So I'm much happier with that. Now let's see, we can also. Use Control Alt when we're on our layer here. We can take this over, create a nice copy of that. 
and control alt and dragging in endo is preferred to get a better normal map so keep that in mind now i think Grab the right transform, get my head on straight. I think I'm just going to keep my bracket on this one. Yep, I like that a lot better. All right, what else should we do? Let's create a new multi normal. And have our sweet crash. Hang on just a second. All right, in the end, I'm glad I did that. The reason the sweet crash on me, because I was down here futzing about inside of this sculpt layer. And when I tried to go from a single normal to a multi normal inside a single normal folder, I crashed it. So always make sure you're getting back to the top of your stack. And now let's create another multi normal. And let's go find a nice kind of tore up brush. I like that. I like that. Let's just paint in. Some damage. Things have gotten old. Just like me. slant down and I don't know why you can see it showing up on here let's zoom in a little bit and you can just see that we, we painted in some normal damage some wear and tear and we're looking all right all right excellent all right, let's add in one more detail. I'm going to create another multi-normal. Wait for undo to catch up. I'm going to go back up here to my brush settings. I'm going to take this down to maybe 15 pixels. Not 15, 25, 15. I might even go 20. That's pretty good. All right, I'm setting this ahead of time. So we're going to come in and use our pen tool. I've got my brush here. Harness is 100, but my spacing is way down. I want to take my spacing way up. And we'll try 425% and see what we get. And we got that all set, so we're going to come over to our pen tool. And I'm going to take a line here. I'm going to come down. Click Shift to get a nice straight line. And then I'm going to come over here and get my selection tool. I'm going to right click on here. And I'm going to hit Stroke Path. And I want the tool to be on brush because I just set up my brush. And hit OK. See what we get. Hit Escape to get rid of my line. That's not too bad. I'm not entirely happy with it. I 
Let's see what we get at 350. much better that I like let's zoom in here but they're just kind of bumps that's not very fun so I'm going to change my curve I'll come down and find something called peaks and you can't see too much of a change yet we can if we get in a little closer but we're gonna bring the size of this down a little bit I'm going to end up hanging right around two for that. Yeah, we can live with that. And then, just like before, we're going to control alt that layer. And there we go. Let's see how we're looking. All right, we're seeing that we can get some pretty good look here. Pretty happy with that. We can run light by it just to see how it goes off by using our spin function. There's quite a few things that we can do in 3D, but we'll get into that more after we look at D-Do. So many do's. But so far for our normal, we're looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the outcome of that, and I think I'm ready to move on to doing some more work. So I'll see you in the next video.